In this exciting episode, I will explore into the portfolios of two financial giants, BlackRock and Tustin. I'll uncover the top stocks purchased by these influential firms. As we all know, 13 f filings are an essential resource for investors, providing valuable insights into the strategies of these influential players. I have selected five standout stocks, three from BlackRock and two from Blackstone, which I will thoroughly analyze, exploring the fundamental and technical reasons behind their choices. So do not miss this in-depth analysis of these notable investments. So let me first provide you with an overview of BlackRock's recent investment portfolio. New York-based BlackRock managing trillions of dollars in assets and securing its position as the world's largest asset management firm. With an extensive range of financial services and products, BlackRock caters to clients worldwide, offering solutions across diverse asset classes such as equities, fixed income, alternatives, and multi-asset strategies. Its client base includes individuals, institutions, and governments, reflecting the company's global reach. In their recent Q1 2023 filing, BlackRock unveiled a substantial portfolio valued at $3.36 trillion spread across 51,316 stocks. Notably, the filing highlights the BlackRock's continued bullish stance on major technology stocks. Among their top five holdings, tech giants dominate, including Apple valued at $171 billion, Microsoft at $155 billion, Amazon at $62.8 billion, Nvidia at $51 billion, and Alphabet at $43.8 billion. The technology sector plays a significant role in BlackRock's portfolio, contributing approximately 23.97% of its overall value. Now let's explore three top stock picks that BlackRock recently added to its portfolio. On number one, we have GE Healthcare Technologies, GEHC. BlackRock added this firm first time to its portfolio. GECH is a leading global medical technology, pharmaceutical diagnostics, and digital solutions innovator. The company operates in multiple segments, including imaging ultrasound, patient care solutions, and pharmaceutical diagnostics. BlackRock acquired 26.75 million shares of GEHC at an average price of $70.21 per share, valued at approximately $2.19 billion. This new addition represents almost 0.06% of its overall holdings. GEHC stock is currently trading at $78.53 per share, that represents an approximate increase of 11.85% compared to the average purchase price for the shares held by BlackRock. It suggests that BlackRock's investment has already experienced a positive return to till date. GEHC stock's value has experienced significant growth, increasing by 40% compared to its value at the start of the year 2023. GE Healthcare, since going public in January this year, has proved strong financial performance. With a revenue of $4.71 billion in the quarter ending March 31, 2023, the company experienced a notable 8.38% year-over-year growth. GE Healthcare's annual sales revenue in 2022 reached $18.3 billion, rising by 4.3% year-over-year. The company generates revenue from imaging ultrasound devices, patient care solutions, and pharmaceutical diagnostics. Looking ahead, the company expects organic revenue to increase between 5% and 7% this year, supported by acquisitions such as iMactus and Caption Health, which enhance its product offerings in the areas of computed tomography and artificial intelligence for ultrasounds. With its consistent, single-digit growth potential, GE Healthcare has attracted the attention of investors like BlackRock, who have added this innovative company to their portfolio. On number two, we have all-time great e-commerce giant Amazon.com Incorporated AMZN, a renowned online marketplace that offers limitless possibilities with just a click of a button. It empowers customers to explore, discover, and embrace the world's largest marketplace. BlackRock currently holds a significant stake in Amazon. Owning 607.62 million shares valued at $62.76 billion. These shares represent approximately 1.86% of BlackRock's total portfolio. BlackRock's investments in Amazon have proven to be highly profitable. Their initial purchases were made at a much lower price compared to the current market value, resulting in a substantial increase in the value of BlackRock's portfolio over time. The average price at which BlackRock acquired all its Amazon shares is $56.85 per share, reflecting a remarkable 122% premium above the current trading price of Amazon shares, which stands at $126.42. 
Furthermore, BlackRock's confidence in Amazon's future prospects is evident from their additional purchases of 12.90 million shares at an average price of $93.65 during the last quarter. In the past 12 months, Amazon has achieved outstanding financial results, with revenues reaching $524.90 billion and profits of $4.29 billion, the company has established its ability to generate substantial earnings. Earnings per share stood at $0.41, cents, indicating a positive trend. The current trading price reflects a significant 47% year-to-date increase in the value of Amazon's stock that shows its strong performance and growth potential. Overall, Amazon remains a crucial asset in BlackRock's portfolio, being the third-largest holding after Apple and Microsoft. The combination of BlackRock's smart investment decisions and Amazon's exceptional performance positions both entities for continued success in the future. On number 3, we have another tech giant, Apple Inc. AAPL. With a market cap of $2.89 trillion, AAPL is largest holding of BlackRock's portfolio. BlackRock currently owns a remarkable 1.4 billion shares of AAPL, valued at $170.67 billion constituting approximately 5.6% of BlackRock's total portfolio. During the quarter ending on March 31, 2023, BlackRock added another 5.80 million shares of Apple to its holdings, with an average purchase price of $147.42 per share. Notably, the average price at which BlackRock acquired all of its Apple shares stands at a mere $33.96. Apple stock is currently trading at $183.95 per share, that is an amazing 439% higher than Apple's overall average purchase price. In this way, BlackRock focuses on long-term investing strategies like Warren Buffett to gain profitable returns over time. Apple has acquired a profitability grade that shows its exceptional financial performance and profitability. Its strong track record makes it an enticing investment target for BlackRock and other potential investors. In the 2022 fiscal year, Apple reported revenues of $394.33 billion, with expenditures totaling $295.5 billion. This resulted in a net profit of $99.8 billion, marking a 5.4% increase from 2021 and a remarkable 73% surge from 2022. Apple's continuous stream of groundbreaking products including the Mac computer, iPhone, iPad and Apple Watch has fueled its remarkable growth over the years. This growth is further exemplified by the astounding performance of Apple's stock, which has multiplied more than tenfold in the last decade, propelling the company to become the world's first trillion-dollar company by market capitalization. Today, Apple stands as the most valuable brand globally and remains the favored and largest holding of BlackRock. Now let's dive into Blackstone's portfolio and its most intriguing stock acquisitions that are sure to capture your attention. Blackstone, one of the world's largest alternative investment management firms, has a diverse portfolio consisting of private equity, real estate, credit, and hedge fund solutions. In their recent 13F filings, Blackstone revealed a total portfolio value of $24.1 billion, spread across 179 stocks. Notably, the energy sector holds significant prominence in Blackstone's portfolio, accounting for a massive percentage of 63.29. Coming in at number 4 is Bridger Aerospace Group Holdings, Inc. BAER which is the largest new addition to Blackstone's 2023 portfolio. BAER is a prominent aviation company specializing in aerial firefighting, disaster response, and critical missions. With their advanced fleet of aircraft and cutting-edge technology, BAER leads the way in providing innovative solutions for combating wildfires and supporting emergency management efforts. Blackstone acquired 9.62 million shares of BAER, valued at $43.79 million, at an average price of $4.55 per share. This acquisition represents 0.18% of Blackstone's portfolio. Currently, BAER stock is trading at $6.38 per share, indicating a substantial increase of almost 71.9% above its buying price. Despite being a relatively low-priced stock, this investment presents several advantages for Blackstone. They can acquire a large number of shares within their budget, maximizing potential returns if the stock price continues to rise. In the 2022 fiscal year, BAER reported annual revenue of $46.39 million, demonstrating a growth rate of 17.78%. Moving on to number 5, we have Kindtick Holdings Inc. KNTK, which is the third largest holding in Blackstone's portfolio. Kindtick operates through two segments, midstream logistics and pipeline transportation. The company offers gathering, processing, storage, and transportation services for natural gas, crude oil, and water gathering and disposal. 
Blackston currently holds a total of 77.1 million shares of KNTK, valued at $2.39 billion, representing approximately 9.19% of Blackston's total portfolio. During the first quarter of 2023, Blackston purchased an additional 71.10 million shares of KNTK at an average price of $31.4 per share. Currently, the stock is trading at $33.81 per share, reflecting a year-to-date increase in value of 5.66%. According to Jamie Welch, Kintec's CEO, the year 2023 is a first full year post-merger, has started off very promisingly. Kintec is expanding its operations in New Mexico through the construction of a pipeline set to be completed and operational by January 2024. The company is currently engaged in commercial discussions with New Mexico producers to explore potential business opportunities that would enhance their position in the Delaware Basin. In March, Kintec made a strategic acquisition of a midstream infrastructure system in Reeves County, Texas at an attractive price and secured a long-term midstream services agreement. These moves position Kintec for growth and profitability in the midstream sector, making it an appealing investment opportunity for investors.